Yo, what's going on you guys? I'm going to be showing you guys how to summon Rip Indra, the raid boss here at the castle of the CN 3rd C. And I'm going to be soloing it. So, first off, we're going to need the three legendary colors of enhancement. So, you know, the three legendary hockey colors. Which are Snow White, Pure Red, and Winter Sky. So, once you have all three of these, you want to equip them. And now let's head back to the castle. All right, when you're back at the castle, you want to find this uh, square. So the first one I equip is Winter Sky. No, I equip Snow White. Now what you want to do is walk over the tile. So the thing is here, each hockey color has a designated corresponding square. So you want to activate the hockey color and run over the square. So I done this with Snow White. Now I'm going to repeat this with Pure Red and Winter Sky. All right, once you have all three of the colors fully highlighted green, what you want to obtain next is the God's Chalice. So you can get this by killing the elite pirates such as Urban, Diablo, Diantre, uh, the other ones. And they have a small chance to drop this God's Chalice. Or you can wait every four hours and get one out of a chest. Or you can go to Thriller Bark and pray on the Gravestone Envy. Uh, NC NPC, sorry, and you'll also have a chance to get the God's Chalice. So you need this chalice to uh, fully spawn Indra. So equip the chalice, come over here to the right, and then yeah, you just spawn him in. Now I'm gonna fight him. Now the thing is with Indra, he um he has different forms. So when you lower him down to a specific amount of health. He'll transform and regain all his health back. So you do gotta be careful of that. But using boot and observation hockey, soloing him should be simple. Oh, this boss is level 5,000. So, wow. So level 5,000 boss, raid boss. And I'm half that, less than half that level, <laughs> just soloing it. All right, yep. So. He was just about to die, but he just transformed again. And yeah, this sh I'm pretty sure this is his final form. So once we kill this form, we should be done. I'm pretty sure the rewards for killing Indra is access to the portals. So the portals in Castle of the Sky, Mansion, and Hydra Island. So you have access to that. I believe you'll also gain three levels. Uh, the Valkyrie hat that he wears and then you have a small chance to get the dark dagger it's pretty much Yoru but very much smaller so you do have chances for all of those and I appreciate he gives you a thousand fragments as well so he's less than half there using Buddha makes this really easy so if you guys aren't using Buddha or Doe I suggest you guys do this in a large group Otherwise, it's going to be really hard. Now, you also want to set your spawn here just so in case you do die, you can just come back here really easily, really quickly, and make sure he doesn't despawn. Almost there. He's almost dead. About to kill the final raid boss of the game. Come on. Almost there. He's so low. There we go. We get the Valkyrie Helm, 50k cash, 1500 fragments, so much XP, and three levels. So, yeah, that's how you spawn Rip Indra and solo him. Very, very simple. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.